welcome back to my channel. I know I have been absent here for quite a while, a couple months. This is my dog. <laughs> you want to say hello? Okay. <laughs> so I know I've been absent here for a couple months. I actually moved in June into a new apartment, so that's why the background is different. I still haven't quite figured out what background I want to use, but I got a new desk and um, my lighting is a little bit different so I'm sitting in front of the window now but it's dark of course so this is just not natural light so it's not as good but I think it looked pretty good I'll have to go back and edit and we'll see how it looked I'm trying out some new products today I got the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette looks like this if I can open it there we go it looks like this I'm absolutely obsessed with it um, all the colors are incredible and they blend really nicely and I created this kind of smoky like a date night look it's a little bit smoky a little bit sexy just something different and fun um, I'm also trying out the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation so I talk about this in the video as well and then I'm trying some new lashes these are the Ardell double demi wispies and I'm actually really liking them they look really awesome so if you guys want to see what, how did we get this look and what's kind of been going on, I chit chat with you guys a little bit. If you guys want to see, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let me put some tape on. How are you guys? How's your day going? I haven't done this in so long. Your day's going good. Mine's going good. I just did a little shopping and now I'm excited because I felt like filming again. Yay. Okay, so let's get some concealer on the eyelids. I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape in fair neutral so look at that going on the eyelid i'm getting a puppy tomorrow i'm so excited maybe i'll vlog it that'd be kind of fun to do a little vlog yeah that might be fun you will vlog it okay now where's my Trusty makeup. Like, always need one of those on hand when you're doing any look. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and Banana. Of course, it's not going to focus on the product, but it's fine. I'm just going to put a little on the cap and then... I'm just going to set the concealer really well because I don't want any of those shadows moving around and... I want everything to be nice and seamless and perfect for when we do put on shadow. Okay. Set that aside. Hi, baby. Hi. She's looking out the window. Oh, you can't see her, but she's right here. Mama's filming. Okay, get down. Okay, so next. We're going to figure out, I know what kind of look I want to do, but I just want to know, figure out what colors I want to use. So I'm not going to use any other reds. I'm going to keep it more like, I will do a red look soon, but I want to keep it more on the brown side. So I'm going to take this, let's look here, look in the light a little bit better here. Okay, so I'm going to take this brown right here. And it's called, oh, they have the colors on the back, M-F-E-O. So it's this color right here. It's just like a light brown. And we're just going to pop that right into the crease. The more of like the upper crease. <clears throat> and use this as a transition shade because we're going to use some pretty dark colors. So I want to make sure that the, out, the edges are nice and light. This is actually a Morphe brush, too. It's a uh, Morphe M505. It's probably my favorite blending brush. I just love it so much. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, stop. Sorry about the barking, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's just like a light. Oh, my nose is running. It's just a light wash of color, but didn't want anything too intense as the transition shade. I just want something there so that when we start to add those dark colors, it has something to blend into. And you always want to use just like a light brown, whatever, white, whatever type of look you're going for. Just use like a light version of it. And this one has a little bit of orange in it, which I'm not sure it's going to look quite as good, but that's okay. Okay. I'm going to take that same brush and we're going to go ahead and dip into, I don't know if that has purple in it, because I, I want to do some purpley colors. So I'm going to take this color right here, and that is called Buns. It's called Buns. And it almost has a little bit, it's like a darker brown, but it has a little bit of red to it, which is perfect. And we're going to take that color and just buff it into the crease. So not the upper crease where we put the transition shade, but just right below it. Doggy drinking in the background, of course. So it's getting just a little bit darker. Okay, looking good. So now that that color's on, we're gonna move to the one kitty corner to it, which is like this darker brown, which is called Chip. This one right here. And we're actually gonna use the same brush and deepen it up even more in the same spot actually that we put the other color the color right um, before it um, because stay down tape because I just want to deepen up that crease and I'm using the same I'm using have been using the same brush which some people like to do some people hate doing it's totally personal preference whatever floats your boat I'm using the same brush just because it's easy and all the colors, I mean, we blend them all together anyway. So like to me, it just makes sense to use the same brush. But like I said, you can use whatever, switch up your brushes for each color. I just love this brush, so you know, I use it. Okay, so now after we got all those blended into the crease, we're actually going to switch brushes now and use a smaller, this is the M506, so it's just slightly smaller. And we're going to take that color right next to it, which has like a, has like a purple tone to it, which is really cool. And it's called, oh, oh, that one was mocha. This one's chip. So it has a little bit of purple to it. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but. We'll see how it looks on the eyes. It's yeah, or it's more of a, it's like a deep chocolate brown. So this I'm gonna focus just on the outer V. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I'm going to bring it up just a tad up here. We're just adding more to really darken it up in here. I'm actually going to take a different... Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, on the eye, it doesn't really have a ton of purple in it. I don't know if you can see. It might have a little purple in the pan, but on the eye, it doesn't look too bad. Like, too purple. Which is fine. I mean, I don't mind 
whatever you know look we're going for here it's looking good so far so these colors blend so well like I'm so impressed they blend super well okay so we'll do the same on the other eye obviously so that I'm Actually gonna take what was I gonna do I had a plan guys because there's a black in here but there's also like a very very dark chocolate oh I know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take a different brush I just have to find the right one that doesn't have blue on it because I haven't washed my brushes since I did my makeup or my Halloween makeup which I can do a tutorial on that if you want I was a mermaid so it was a blue and green look which turned out really cool actually Okay. So I wish I had something to dry this off on. I really don't. Just use my hand, I guess. Okay, so we're actually going to take that, this is a, just like a, kind of like a C-shaped brush, and we're going to take that same color we just used, and I'm actually going to pop it on the inner corner, which is kind of weird, but I kind of want to do like a halo eye. leaving that center open and then just popping it sorry guys I forgot my camera hates me and it only films every 15 I think minutes or something like that anyway so this is what the eyes look like right now I connected here with that third color we used and then I just used this the smaller blending brush and then ooh. And then I did a little on the inner corner and on the outer corner and just really blended it in. Now I'm taking my finger again, take that really pretty champagne color. One more time, just pop it right in the center there. I'm just kind of blend the edges. I just really want to make sure that the center part of my eye is nice and highlighted and pretty and glowy. Need a little more on this eye because it got a little shimmery here, which I don't want. I don't want this to be dark. There we go. There we go. Okay. Get shiny. So that's what the eyes look like so far. So I'm going to take off the tape. Look at those crisp, those crisp lines, girl. Okay, now let's do a little black eyeliner just to really help finish it off. I'm going to bring my mirror. Ooh, there's a green in here. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to bring my mirror a little bit closer. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner. I'm just going to do um, a thin line just to add a little depth to my eyes. So it looks like so. Nothing crazy. My wings are a little bit different, but it's fine. Wings are sisters, not twins. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like so far. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do lashes, and I'll do those off camera, but I'm gonna first put on mascara and curl my lashes. Alright guys, so I have my lashes on. These are the Ardell Double Demi Wispies and they are bomb. 
Uh, I haven't, haven't tried the the demi wispies or the double demi wispies before, so I really want, I love the double wispies and I love the the double line. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. So while these are drying. Let me just fix this one real quick here. Give it a little squeeze right in there. There we go. Okay. So while the glue is drying on these. Let's do, I already put primer on. I did the One Heck of a Blot Primer by Soap and Glory. I really like it. It keeps my skin matte. And there's little pieces of glitter all over my face, which I don't want, but it's fine. Um, and then we're going to try a new foundation today. I've heard really, really good things about this foundation here on YouTube. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. And I got the color... F3. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back for this. Oh good, it's recording. Okay. So hopefully it just matches me. I tried it on my hand and it looked like it'd be pretty good, so and we're gonna try it with a sponge because that's my favorite way to I hate I honestly hate using a brush, so probably won't ever see me use a brush. See how this is very liquidy, but it's fine because you paint it on basically. I think this will be the right shade for me. <laughs> what a look! Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender, beauty sponge, actually. Start blending this in. It's blending really nicely, actually. And it's drying down matte, which is perfect, because your girl likes matte. And yeah, it's blending really nicely. We'll have to see how the wear is. That's what I care about. And how it sets with it when you set it with a powder, it looks like all that good stuff. But so far, so good. Blend it up into my hairline. Oh dear. I've done my brows yet, obviously. A tad bit more right around my nose there. Maybe a little more on my cheeks. My cat is literally going psycho trying to get out of my bedroom. The only thing is that once you blend it in, if you try and blend it more, like past the blending point, it kind of goes, eh, I'm just going to come off. So that's the only thing. Okay, it blends into my neck good, so it doesn't look, and this one's pretty natural light, so it doesn't look weird. I'm just super pale, that's all. Okay, so far so good, I'm liking it. It comes in a pink bottle, like this, and you can get it at Ulta. So go give it a try. I'm just going to use my shape tape under my eyes now, just to conceal a little bit here. I think this has a little more yellow tone in it. Wow, that looks really good. I'm very impressed. That looks really good. I just took my finger and I was just blending like in the inner corners just because I wanted it to be super precise. Okay, so now I'm going to set with that um, banana baking powder that I used earlier. Set under my eyes.
Okay. Looks good. Come on, a little dusty. Okay, so now we're gonna set the rest of your face. This is just the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder, and I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush and set my face. Now that my face is set, do some bronzer, take my bronzer brush, and I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, just matches my skin really nicely, um, I know it's not too orange. In this case, they are. They're looking really good. And everything feels nice and matte and set, which I like. Because I have an oily skin, so it's a preference for me. All right. Time for a blush. This is Meadow Mellow Moi by e.l.f. It's just one of their, like, studio blushes. It's just a good fall color. Adds some nice color to the cheeks. Nothing crazy. All right. I'm going to do highlight in a minute, but let's do brows. I'm actually going to do those off camera, so I will be right back. Alright, so we've got the brows. Now we're just going to finish up that under eye. So we're going to take that, I'm going to take my smaller brush. We're going to take that first brown color we used. It has a little bit of warm to it. And first we're going to run that under the lash line. I really want that warmness in there first before I go darker. Okay, got that warmness down there. Now we're going to take that dark brown that we were using a really Bring it out up down here, slend it out. Let it smoky and sultry. Just like that. Something in my eye and it's really bugging me, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna take that color again. I'm just go in the inner corner just a hair because we lost a tiny bit of it with the concealer. So I just want to make sure that it really gets in there. There we go. Perfect. Lost a little over here as well. Okay. So now we're gonna brighten up that inner corner, and there's a nice sham like a. This color right here, it's called Bean. And it has some shimmer in it. So we're gonna use that and we're just gonna put it on our finger, dab it on the inner corner. Wow, that's a pigment pin. It's so pretty. You want to get it right in that socket. All right, so we're just gonna do some finishing touches now. Um, I put highlight. Um, what color is this? It's called Beam, and I put that uh, right on the inner corners there. I need to touch on my eyeliner a little bit. Where that is, because I lost a little bit of that in here. I lost a hair on my 
pen there. You can barely even see that. Oh my. That's um, a little interesting, but it's fine. We're just going to leave it. Okay. Now we're going to do face highlight. This is Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. I'm just going to highlight those cheekbones, honey. Highlight those cheekbones. Yes, honey. Yes. I like to highlight up the side of my face too because it's where the sun will naturally hit, even though it's raining here. But it's fine. Yeah, I got this highlight and I really like it. It's, it wasn't very expensive either, but it's kind of hard to find. I think I got it at Ulta, maybe. Not Target for sure, but Ulta. Hold on my nose, my Cupid's bow. going to do lips to finish it off. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip. I don't know what it doesn't say. In the color um, Naked Lip Lip la, 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 la. Liquid Lipstick in the color Naked. And it's just a new pink. Do I like that or do I want a little more? Be right back. Okay, so I took that one off because I didn't like it. So this is NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Lace Detail. And this one has a little more pink to it. So I think, and it's a little bit darker. Bring the highlight back just a little bit. Okay. Already did my hair. So here's the finished look um, up close. Let me move the mirror out of the way so you can kind of see what it looks like up close. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Check out the next video. It'll be posted hopefully soon. I'm doing a vlog. I'm getting a new puppy tomorrow, so I'm vlogging that. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be up on this channel hopefully in a couple days once I get it edited. And, yeah, so thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.